I'm walking over to one of these long lines. It moves slowly. It moves. And Priscilla Santos yeah. is in one of these lines. Tell me, Priscilla, where do you live and what are you dealing with? I'm on Neptune Avenue across the street from a, a major supermarket in our community. And what I'm dealing with is a whole week, basically, of losing income, having nowhere to go with my children because there's nowhere else to go, no family members, and the shelters where I went to were full. Um, no heat. No water, no toilets, no food, no nothing. If you want any shopping, you have to go almost like uh, completely out of the community. There's been no Red Cross in this area, no FEMA, no help at all for almost a week. Today's the first day that we actually see anyone from the city agencies here to help us out. No one cares whether or not we have something to eat and drink, but they'll put on that we're looting, that people are looting, and they're looting because they're desperate. There's no food, there's no running water that you can go to. Landlords are not doing what they're supposed to do to clean up. We're not getting any type of services. I'm very involved in my community. I'm a working person. I'm a taxpayer. I'm getting tired of being treated like I don't exist. Priscilla, on Neptune Avenue, are you still staying in your home or are you staying? I'm with? staying in my home, unfortunately, with my two small children. We have nothing in the refrigerator every day. I have to pay our car service who are charging us double the price just to come out of the community just to get something to eat. How old are they? This, they're four and five years old. And normally they would be in some kind of They would be in school. I get a call from the school yesterday talking about how they're excited oh, and worried you, about you, um, you, the you. children being out of school and they're hoping no go, one go, has done go. anything to fix our schools. I don't see anyone doing anything to fix our community. There's been always an issue with sewage here, with the drains being properly cleaned. We get flooding on a regular day with a regular rainstorm. If it rains tonight or if it rains tomorrow, you go in front of my house, I guarantee you it will be flooded because they